Hello, this is Sean Shaw with This A Mouthful, and I'm excited to bring you my very first Dinner in a Dialogue series that's going to be featured on my blog at www.itsamouthful.blogspot.com. It's going to be a dinner conversation with some of the A-listers here in Atlanta. We're going to talk to them a little bit about food, fortune, and future. And I'm very excited to bring you my very first guest. This gentleman's body of mu this body of uh, work has spanned about 10 years. He does television, radio, online, offline. He's like a soldier of comedy. <laughs> he does everything, and I'm I'm very honored to have him in my presence. It's Mr. Rodney Perry. What's Thank up, you so dog? much. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what's up. I'm glad to have you here, man. You know. You know. A lot of people's like when I told them, I said, Yeah, I'm gonna be talking to Rodney Perry. It's like, you know, who is Rodney Perry? Who Who is that? You know. Tell me a little bit about you know who is Rodney Perry. You know. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm first, first and mm -hmm. foremost, I'm a comedian. But you know, because of my journey as a comic, it's given me some opportunity to act. You mm -hmm. know, to host things and and stuff like that. And and, and I'm very aware of, of me building that brand. And, mm -hmm. you know, some people may or may not be aware of it for whatever reason. Uh, the dilemma for for me, for the comedian nowadays, mm -hmm. or the actor, mm -hmm. is to, to to link those dots together. Then to link together the, who you are to what you do and what you look like. Right. You know, I mean, there's people that you know every day that you might know what they look like, but you don't really know their name. Right. Or you might right. know their name, right. but you don't really know their body of work. Mm -hmm. So the minute you can get those three things to link up, that's when, that's that synergy that takes you to the top. So we're just right. trying to always, trying to link those dots together, whether it's my internet show or my, you know, my hosting events or, mm -hmm. you know, or stand-up comedy, whatever that is. It's all to that that end. Right, right. You know, and I love to laugh just like the next person. You know what I'm saying? And you've done, uh, you know, you've been doing comedy for a while. And do you feel that, you know, comedy has taken on some of the burden, you know, just like, you know, some of the industry, the music industry has, has kind of suffered over the last few years. You know, do you think comedy has kind of taken on a little bit of that as well? I've uh, felt the brunt. Yeah, to, to a certain extent, um, you know, uh, comedy where music got hit when the digital era came, comedy has really been helped, mm -hmm. you know, because it allows the lesser known comic to get to the masses, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you know, so you know, social media gives us an opportunity to really get our, our images and our stuff out there. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, it's difficult. Right. You know, it's difficult. And uh, I think uh, what's happened is the absence of black faces on television mm -hmm. and films, period. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Last decade, we kind of disappeared for a minute. You know, you got to think, when Martin was on the air, it was 10 shows mm -hmm. with black cast. Yep. You know, that's not just the people, the stars that are working, that's the extras, the, you know, a lot of people were working. So right. that kind of faded, you know, and now we're kind of coming back with Tyler Perry and, you know, uh, uh, with, with the advent of, of this way they're shooting so aggressively now, we're getting to work again. So, you know, I, you look for the next few years for that, especially here in Atlanta, for that to kind of start to really, you know, make itself known. Okay, okay. Now, uh, where do you get your material? Because, you know, you have to stay relevant. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you know, I think you have to be a pretty sharp person to be a comedian. You know, where, where do you get your... your, your, your uh, some people fashion themselves as great comedy writers. I'm not a great writer. I'm really a great reporter, though. Mm -hmm. I just pay attention to my life. You know, I report right. my life. You know, whether that's, you know, my children. You know, I have my wife. I have six children. My wife and I have four together. I have five girls. I got a boy. You know, that in itself is 30 minutes any given night, you mm -hmm. know, material. Or, you know, whether I'm paying attention to politics. I think a comedian should have a take on everything. Right. But the stuff that I actually end up in, in my act, you know, it could come from anywhere. You know, I'm at a Moroccan restaurant right now. Right, right, right. And I'm sitting <laughs> almost on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this could end up in the show. <laughs> yeah. 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 I understand. Yeah, I understand. Easily. I can't wait. I'm about to eat with my hands. I told yeah. him, man. He said, you can only eat with your hands. 
You know, I'm like, look here. I've been eating <laughs> we like, grow up my with whole life. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, I should have been here. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know, speaking of food and eating with your hands, do you have a, a favorite type of food that you that you like? Or that you, do you I'm, cook? I'm partial to Italian food. I okay. love Italian food, but you know, I'm I'm a good old American boy. You know, I like fried chicken and mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you know, I, I like you know a good a good buffalo wing. You know, a good, right. good lemon pepper. You know, right, right, right. You, I can eat chicken every day. <laughs> oh, I feel I you. Literally, can eat chicken. you can't say that because they think black people only eat chicken. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it doesn't stereotype. I own it. Right. Because I love chicken. Right, right. And water bill is quite thirst quenching. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, over you know you've been working for for like I said a decade. You know what would you at least, consider, at least a decade? To that can go back. Cut me short. Of I'm a sorry. I'm sorry. Over a decade. Two decades. Okay. All right. Damn. Yeah. That. Yeah. Old enough. You've been been doing comedy since you were born. You know. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. hey, I had a teacher in second grade that would let me tell jokes at the end of the day if I was shut up throughout the course. Oh, okay. So you. That's how long I've known. Okay. Know, okay. But it, but it took me a while to find another profession. But yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, how long do you think that you could you'll be doing comedy? Do you do you want to transition to anything else? Do you see anything else in your future, like uh, more television, producing, directing? I see those things, but I will always be telling jokes. Somewhere. Okay. Okay. Because it's kind of my, you know, it, it it helps me maintain my sanity. And that you you know you have a pretty large family. Would you be opposed to having any of your kids? going to the show business. <laughs> my 10 year old is funny as all get out. You know, she's got a quick wit like, you know, like any comic I've ever known. So, uh, you know, I, I could see maybe her, you know, going in that world. But, you know, if they if they were serious about it, you know, as long as they wasn't trying to, you know, I, I, I require anybody that wants to do what I do to just really, you know, don't, don't 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 treat it like a stepchild. Like if you coming in, come all the way in. Right, right. Don't yeah. put your toe in the water. Put your put your whole <laughs> leg in, please. Okay. Because the water's cold. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. hear you. I hear you. There's now, you know, they say that you know experience is your greatest teacher, and I know that this business can be tough. Mm -hmm. You know, what has been your greatest lesson thus far in this industry? Oh man, there's a ton of lessons you learn, man. Uh, Hello, thank you again for taking time out to listen to my very first Dinner and Dialogue series. This is going to be some very funny stuff that's coming up now. This is some outtakes that took place during dinner. This is some of the best stuff while we were having conversation during Dinner and Dialogue. I hope that you enjoy. After that, you get variety of Moroccan salad. When I bring the salad, I'm going to explain to you. The third one is going to be your appetizer. It's called bastila. It's filo dough inside. It's cornish and spice eggs, roasted almond, carpet sugar, and cinnamon. You're not vegetarian. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the wrong place. You're in the wrong place, player. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you know, it's only people vegetarian. 100% they are vegetarian. <laughs> Okay, and it's only one you can choose from your menu, it's just your entree. Okay. After that you get your dessert, it's a pastry, a salmon, chocolate, and fresh fruit. I know there is a, uh, a lamb, it's like the one uh, Rita Chili yes. for you, mm -hmm. but the two entree you can just go ahead and pick which entree from. Right. Uh, I'm looking at the chicken kebab. Chicken kebab? The grilled chicken kebab? Yeah, we have chicken kebab. We have also uh, lamb shank is the best. Beef wraps is very, very good, very tasty. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not only chicken kebab. I know the first time is chicken kebab, but there's right. a lot of things. Yeah, some safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Like beef minestrone or something. Mm-hmm. That's what the can say in the back. That's all right. Campbell. You can't go wrong with that. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, man. The dinner was excellent. Yes. I think we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Five courses of sheer heaven. Yes. 
absolutely. Had a yeah. good conversation with Rap. It was like a, a history lesson. Oh man, the, the chef is is amazing on so many levels. He came out, he visited. Uh, you had the the lamb, lamb you had the lamb, you know, which is was dope, you know. And I know we dudes, but had to get a little taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> I mean, that's your signature dish. I mean, yeah, that's you can be driving. I had to try it. Yeah. Uh, excellent. And I, and I had the, uh, the beef ribs. Yep. yep. Let me tell you something. I think at, at one point, you was like, are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I ate everything. <laughs> you know, but, but it, it, it's such a, a total experience. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. to come here, man, and, and then to sit down with, with good people and, and have a chat, man. It, it's definitely a place I would recommend. And, and, and your show is, do, is dope, dude. Can I, I say that? that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I feel like I feel that's special. I'm the first guest. Yeah, absolutely. Unless you interview somebody, I'll be like, this is better than that. I'm putting yeah. this ahead. <laughs> <laughs> then, no. I, let me give you another sound about it. Man, it's so great being your second guest. <laughs> <laughs> you might need that. No, no. You yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And uh, dream photography. I do appreciate it. Eric Thompson, if you ever need any photography. Oh, yeah. He's the man. Oh yeah, he. I think he got a couple clients up here. Oh yeah, he was getting his picture on. <laughs> to you, happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah. You can actually, yeah, yeah. You can, you you gonna be getting a lot of business. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But again, you can you can reach Rodney Perry. You know, he's on every channel. Uh, <laughs> Everything. On social media, you know. So do you miss the, the Monique show? I miss the chicks. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I, miss, I miss hanging out with my friend every day. Right. You know, because right. we still talk all the time, but we don't see each other, you know, mm -hmm. every day. So, like, we got a lunch schedule now just to sit down and... Now, has there been a um, comedian that you've tried to get on off the chain that just said, like, oh, I'm not doing that? Or, You'd be surprised, man. It, it was a couple. Mm -hmm. One of my boys. I called him. Like man, I said, man I think you, nobody knew I was hosting. Okay. And I said, I'm hosting the show. He was like, Rod, man. I'm like, nigga, when the last time you been on TV? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I do it. I know. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I don't believe it. Right. As hard as it is for us to get on TV, mm -hmm. and you got an opportunity to get on TV, and you passing it up, you a dumbass. Right. You know. Right. I mean, you stupid. You know, whatever you got going on, this ain't gonna hurt it. So if you if, if if you create a good show, everybody will come. Right. right. And that's kind of my thoughts with dinner and dialogue. You know, you know, you put it out there and you have it have it good because you're my first. Okay. You're my first, and, I, and I've, yeah. I've, I've had some conversations with some other folks, and they they said that's a good concept. I think it's, it's interesting. Yeah. So I'm thinking that once they actually listen to it and hear it and kind yeah. of see that the that is real. Put, put the word out. They be like, ah, okay. They get it. They get. It. It's hard to get guests. And now, man, I have people hitting us up. We have people that want to be. Dude, I'm telling you, less than 20 shows, you'll have people hitting you up to to get on. Cause it, first of all, it's so hard to get noticed that way. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. it's so hard to get on. Right. So to get interviewed. Right. So, right. Uh, you know, these avenues, these blogs and stuff, that's very, you know, this is the new, that's the new TV show. That's the new, you know, it's very viable way to, to get, to get noticed. Mm -hmm. so, good questions. That's hey, Bill, what else you want? Right. You're giving people more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was listening to your interview with Tamia. Oh, she was uh, great. She was great. She was great. She was great. You know, my favorite interview up to this point, I did an interview with Amara LaRue. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. I never met her. I was just kind of a fan. And I, I tell you, I wasn't even a fan. I knew about her, but I didn't know about her. You know, she's one of the people you know, but you don't mm -hmm. really know you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, man, me and this lady talk like we were 20-year friends. Wow. wow. Um, you know, she's a mommy, mm -hmm. you know, she's a, but, but knock down gorgeous, beautiful chick. Yeah. And she just loves what she, she just loves her art. Yeah. yeah. She's a true artist, you know, yeah. so. And she's good at it. Yeah. Yeah. But Tamia was cool. You know, um, if you listen, she kind of warmed up through the course of the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Like she really yeah. locked in. I cried a couple of jokes and she locked in mm -hmm. about halfway through. She locked in and we really had a good conversation. Yeah.